And if you look at the journeys of a lot of guys in, 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 you know, who have ventured out as entrepreneurs, you will notice that they did not really start with something very structured and documented that, oh, this is my seven-step plan for, you know, think of it. Microsoft, it started in a container in Albuquerque. You have um, uh, Apple, started in a garage. It was just a fusion of skill and passion coming together. You know, now, passion without skill is dangerous. Skill without passion, you will give up because a lot of obstacles come in the way. So for me, it was just, I found myself just flowing into certain things. As a kid, I, you know, there was always this mama or somebody buying old bottles or old newspapers, you know? And I just found out that, hey, I could sell that. I could sell firewood, you know, that was, I could sell, I, my, my mom used to say, well, you can sell snow to an Eskimo. Be very clear to differentiate between what you want and what you need. This is what messes a lot of people up. Because I give you an example. You know, I've seen people come to me, say they want to start business and they bring a list. Oh, we need X amount for the office, X amount for computers, X amount for all sorts of things. Now, how are you going to go into business? You don't even know if your product is going to sell and you are going in already on a deficit. It doesn't work that way, you know? So from day one, you are going to be under pressure not to grow your business, but to take care of your deficit. You know, that's not a wise place for anybody to be. But then you look at what's the next step? What do I really need for the next step? And then you do, you know, do an analysis. What of all the things that I want to do, what can give me the greatest outcome? What can give me the greatest benefit with the smallest input? I always like starting from there. You know, I always love starting from there. That I call it the lowest level of entry. Okay? What is my lowest level of entry? Once I'm able to identify that, then I start from there. Okay? And then I grow. Because ideally... As the business grows, it should be able to take care of itself. A business that does not deliver what that, that does not make enough money is going to go out of business. All right. And it might interest you to know that there are some statistics I saw some time back that says only four percent, only four percent of um, businesses make it to their fifth birthday, only 4%. That means 96% of businesses never hit the five-year mark. Why? Because they don't start at the low point of entry. They start big. And instead of energy for growing the business, you are focusing all your energy on dealing with the deficit that you have started with, whatever you don't have. You see, when people want to start a business, many times the first thing they do is look outwards. But don't look out, look in. When you look in, then you realize that there are things you have, skills, talents, whatever that you have, that you can leverage. The key word here is leverage. What is leverage? Um, Archimedes said, if you give me a lever I can, and a fulcrum, I can turn the world. I can lift the world. 